Hey guys, my name is Alex Ray and welcome to my YouTube channel. Buckle in, we got a jam-packed day ahead of us and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. I'm walking right now to the parking garage where I left the car because in the car, there's probably about $10,000 worth of car parts. So let's hope no one broke in. Oh, thank the Lord. The car is still intact. Let's take a quick peek inside. Okay, we are in business. <laughs> So Yusik is meeting me out back. I got a lot of stuff to unload. Let's see what we got. Okay. Jeez Louise. Oh, there she is. Hey Alex. Hey Yusik, what's going on? All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of different projects on the go. Some really cool ones. Look at this. Wow. Check out that M6. So we got the man behind the shop, Mr. Yusik Choi. Hello. How you doing? And then we have his very special assistant, Sierra. Now these two make the dream team to make all these projects happen. So I'm very grateful that they're working together to help me on my BMW. And look at these wheels. These are the Volt TE37 Mag Blue Edition rims. They look incredible. So, Yusik, yes. how about you let everyone know a little bit about how long you've been doing this for, how you got started? I think I've been doing this for the like, better part of 20 years now. Wow. Uh, yeah, I started when I was young. My dad had like a used car dealership and uh, always hung out at the shop. And then I fell for the BMW brand, and from then on, like, it was just. <clears throat> Yeah, all I wanted to do was be around these cars and work on these cars. I went to school for other stuff, but I always kept lending back in the shop. Now, now the whole thing about your shop is that it's not an in and out, fast paced environment. You like to take your time, but most importantly, what brings you joy in doing what you do every day? It's a privilege to work on these type of cars and projects for our clients because uh, I know that they're pa just as passionate about them as we are. We just like working with people that, that have the same level of passion and that appreciate, you know, like go that extra level in terms of detail and, and just doing everything from our heart. Like it's not always like profit driven, it's more about like, you know, what's the best situation and scenario for whatever we're doing. And it always has to come from a place where, you know, we enjoy doing it and, and it just gives us a lot more enthusiasm. Yeah, and a lot of these cars that you see here, they all range, like you got classic BMW M3 E30. I don't even know what the heck this thing is. What is this, Yusik? Uh, it's a 2002 PII. Even with my car, the, the f whole purpose of this car is to restore it to a museum level quality finish. I've taken this car to a couple different shops in the GTA area, they're great, but here at Total Motor Works, it's a totally different experience. Every single nut and bolt gets turned with the most passion and love for the job and nothing gets overlooked. So we are going to be turning this thing into something that you would see in a BMW factory or a BMW museum. Now, the car is a bit bare bones. We are stripping out a lot of the things in here. I got a custom carbon center console made. As you can see over here, lots of parts inside the car. Usic and Sierra are gonna be working up a masterpiece to get this car looking spectacular. What do we got here? Are we gonna really give them a sneak peek? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should, yeah, okay. This little Subaru part here. Subaru part on a BMW, eh? Yeah. I've never heard of such nonsense, but look, it is going to look so good. This has never been done before. I haven't seen it either. 
And then with the Vorsteiner upper diffuser, that's missing. We're gonna install that after, but yeah, this is gonna look really good this rear end. And then this is the Saibon or Saibon Tomato Tomato. This is their discontinued trunk and it doesn't have the BMW roundel. Now this could be a sacrilegious thing. People would go crazy for not seeing it, but I like how clean and classy it looks. There's no indentation. It's clean, it's subtle. And sometimes people ask me, Alex, do you want to put the M3 badge on the car? You know what, it would be cool, but I, I like things to be a little bit symmetrical. So if I had something there and nothing over there, what do you think? It would kind of throw things yeah, off, right? Yeah. So Just because it's so clean without the rondel already, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. And in case you didn't know, this reads as insure me. I do insurance, hence the title of the license plate, insure me. M3. It's kind of a nice play on words, but Usyk thinks it's going to take like 45 minutes to unbox all of this stuff. So I'm going to unpack all this stuff and I'm going to leave it out on the floor. You guys are going to be okay to clean it up right after? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't possibly make them clean everything up. These guys do so much for me. So I'm going to create a mess, but I got to clean it up after. Yusik is joining me right here and we're going to do a breakdown of all these parts that you see here. So Yusik, why don't you start yeah. us off with, what is this right here that we got? It's carbon drive shaft. Does a couple of things. First, it's way lighter because it's carbon fiber. It's a lot stiffer. The other cool thing about it is it eliminates the center hanger bearing that normally lives in this area here. That just means that it doesn't flex as much. So when you put the power down, it's instantly turning the diff instead of like, you know, making the thing wobble up and down. And now this is the aluminum flex disc. I chose this one because it was the most aggressive option to go with. Madness, you might think, because the stock one, it's, it's rubber, rubber, right? It's rubber. What am I going to notice with this? Am I going to notice anything? Maybe a little bit? Well, yeah, you're going to feel everything that the powertrain is doing. You'll feel it in the car more. So it'll give you more of that. Like, Connected feel. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so moving on, we got more parts here. So this is from a good friend of mine, Auto Solutions. He created this sort of short shifter with these, I, I got my cheat sheet here. They are 95A polyurethane bronze bushing. So super aggressive there. We got the Turner Motorsport subframe mounts, solid of course, because I want to be more connected. We got the Turner Motorsport differential mounts, again, solid, more connected. Now this is a really cool part. As you can see, we got the TTV flywheel and the OEM clutch. My sister, she did a work on the car. I've been teaching her how to drive manual. Let's just say it didn't go so well. So we're gonna be replacing it with these new parts. And you said, what am I gonna notice with that lightweight flywheel? Uh, well, it's gonna rev up and down a lot faster. Going with the theme of the whole connected, driver engaged feel, you're definitely going to get that with that flywheel. Awesome. When, when Yusik installs this uh, flywheel, I think what we should do to show you guys the benefit of this is to do a before and after. We can rev the car. Yeah, and then we'll weigh the, the OEM unit that comes out okay and then that way it'll benefit you guys in case you're kind of on the fence about do i get this do i not get it so we got you covered don't worry i'm going to keep going over here we are going to be showing you more car parts these car parts are going to be gone with the clap of u6 hands okay one more time so feast your eyes on all of these parts we got right here. They vary from interior stuff, some engine related stuff. Did I say interior? I'm gonna say interior again, exterior. Now the biggest thing is the front bumper. This is still the original one, but I had it repainted because a lot of it was scuffed, rock chips. It almost felt like sandpaper when you're washing the car. And me with my small detailing business that I do on the side, believe it or not, I dreaded washing the front bumper. There was a point in time where I just didn't feel like washing it anymore. So I would do everything but the front bumper because it didn't feel nice. So I took it to my good friends at Excellence Auto, Excellence Auto Collision, and they totally worked their magic. I mean, look at it, it looks in pristine shape. Now I specifically asked them to do a couple adjustments. As you see here, there used to be a headlight washer system 
that kind of protruded right around there. No time for that. We want to have a clean look, so we have to delete it. Now, you might be asking, Alex, if they deleted that, how come they didn't delete these amber reflectors? I'm going to tell you something. The way that the bumper looks right now, if I were to go that Euro-esque style where that's gone, I think it would have been missing something. So I made the executive decision to keep that, and I think it's period correct. It looks good. In addition to that, we also got the OEM black chrome kidney grills. I think they call them the BMW edition series. They look super, super sharp. Like, wow. We also added a brand new bumper grill mesh just to keep it in perfect shape. The other one was a, a bit uh, worn out, so we upgraded that. The theme with the car is blue. As you see, the car is Silverstone metallic. And in certain light, the car has this blue, uh, sorry, this blue hue to it. Blue, blue hue? Uh, it has this blue hue to it. It's just really special to really see it when it's clean. It really is silver. When it comes out in the light, the, the little blue aspect pops. So I wanted to keep this blue theme. There's little bits here and there of blue. So you see we got the blue tow hook, nice clean finish. We got the Mashimaro steering wheel. It's beautiful. It's D-shaped, easier to get in for a tall guy like myself. We got the carbon with the subtle blue racing stripe. For those of you who know me, you know it's all about the attention to detail. This trim, you see it says BMW individual. That is a super rare, 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 a super limited edition part. And apparently even on the US spec individual models, they didn't have that. So I find it interesting that the North American market kind of got skimped out on. I also had this emblem clear broad so that way it's protected from getting scratched. Sticking with the interior, we got the hard motorsport carbon fiber door pulls with the blue straps. Again, the blue is the theme, so that's nice. And this is, I, I mean, I gotta say, this is probably one of the hardest parts to get in the world. This is a discontinued BMW Performance black, I think it's black chrome with the illuminated lettering. This will light up in what they call BMW Lightning Yellow. Bruh. Really, really cool. How I got it, I got, I got lucky. That escalated quickly. Sometimes you gotta get lucky with these parts. I was looking for the silver ones that came with the car on special models. When I was searching on eBay, cause it was also discontinued, I saw these and I'm like, oh my goodness, these are stunning. I've never seen these before. Like, look at this, just immaculate. As limited edition as they are, you can expect it cost a pretty penny. These were about 900 US dollars for all four of these, which is insane you think for just door sales, but we are building this car to be as special and unique as possible. I've kind of curated all of these parts here to be some of the most unique parts that are available for this platform. I mean, like we got this interior 3D design, Alcantara bottom, billet aluminum, e-brake handle. Beautiful, beautiful finish to that. And it's from Japan. The theme also is some sort of chrome, little bits of chrome. So again, we got the individual plate. We got this rear fog lights, European headlight switch, right? And again, with that uh, Subaru fog light, the rear fog light, I'm gonna be able to use all these features accordingly. So it's really, really nice. Again, with that silver theme, we got the cup holders with that little nice touch. It, it's gonna really come together nicely. What else we got here? We got some windshield wipers, the arms. One thing I will tell you is this whole front end is getting a major uh, overhaul redone. I had my OEM headlights like the front bumper over there. These headlights were severely pitted. If they're not perfectly clean, you're gonna walk right by it. This needed to be done, so we had the headlights redone. GTA retrofits in Toronto, he's fantastic. And I also had a brand new windshield installed. We got my shop that does a lot of the clear bra work and tinting, Elevated Auto. We're gonna be actually going there today to do some more stuff, but these wipers will be replaced because the new ones are over there. I also had these gloss black wrapped. The hood, it's gonna be getting a little bit of work done. We're gonna get creative with it because I don't necessarily like how it looks. The bulge. What? Bro, what are you talking about? The bulge is where it's at, but it can look a little bit better. So follow me over here. We got the 
Turner Motorsport aluminum skid plate, Alcantara e-brake boot. That's gonna look very nicely going together. Just some bumper hardware, ABS sensors. Nobody cares about that. Oh, this. This is the Core 4 Motorsports press and stud M14 setup with the MSI lug nut. I really wanted titanium lug nuts because I mean, titanium is always cooler. These are motorsport grade. I was told by several knowledgeable people like Ibisu, Brett Slicer, you might know him as. And of course, Core 4 Tom, he recommended that I go with the MSI ones because these are the proven method for racing. We got the OEM black chrome kidney grills here. Those are gonna be going to Steven to get uh, clear broad and ceramic coated. We got some LED lights. This is gonna be cool. Let's go back to the hood. Sierra, can I get your help for a sec? What we're gonna do is, Sierra, if you wanna grab one of those, these are the limited edition top secret Japan aero catch collaboration uh, hood pins. I'm thinking that to create a more aggressive look with the stock hood, I'm thinking that we're gonna put them right there. And, and again, I had a huge debate on the forums and on Instagram with how this is supposed to look. Is it gonna look better like that or like, or like that? And you know what? I like the other way better. And the reason why is because it's all about the shapes. The shape of this wide to narrow. We gotta match it. We gotta go wide to narrow. And that's the reasoning for the decision there. What do you think? I think it's gonna look good, right? I think it'll look really good. Especially yeah. with all the lines and everything. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that is super, super exciting. Thank you, Sierra. No so again, all of these parts coming together, I'm really fortunate to, to be able to afford and have these opportunities where, you know, people that are looking out for me like Yusik, like Sierra, and really help make this dream that I have in my head. I'm, it's, a, it's a crazy mastermind in my head, but it's all gonna come together. And I'm really happy that you guys are watching the video. You're gonna tag along for the journey. We got the dream team here. We got people that wanna see me succeed, wanna make this project a success. You sick? Glory. Really, really exciting parts that are coming together to make this unique. I mean, there's a lot of great builds out there in the E9X platform, but I want to be arguably the most unique. So if you have any suggestions for me, maybe some parts that I don't know about, or you want to pick my brain, please comment below and tell me, like, what are you most excited about? What parts are you like, wow, like that's so cool, I didn't know it was around. Let me know, because I really want to hear your, your take on this. But I, I got a lot of work to do right now. As you can see, we got to pack up all this stuff here. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna get working, and then we got to go. I got to let Sierra and Yusik get back to work, because I'm, I'm causing a mess for them. I am all cleaned up as you can see. You make a mess, you clean it up. Sky, I'm gonna see you another time. That's my car's name, it's Sky. So we're off to the next destination to go see Steven from Elevated Auto, but I gotta say bye to a special someone. Yusik? Yes, sir. I'm heading out, buddy. All right, man. Thank Take you care. for making your cameo debut. I think you did great. I think so, maybe. Maybe, well, I think we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Till next time. Yeah, Take care. And, 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 Yusik gave me a little gift bag. I've been bugging him for a t-shirt from Total Motor Works. I love walking around the house with a t-shirt on, and I need to support my friends, of course, right? So, Yusik, thank you for coming in clutch today. You're welcome. Okay, all right. Ciao, buddy. So, we are going right now to go see Steven from Elevated Auto. I got my carbon fiber side skirts that need to be polished and clear broad, so he's going to make that happen. Stay tuned. So I've just arrived at Elevated Auto, home of where some of the coolest cars in Toronto get work done. The work involves paint protection films, tinting, some detailing features. Steven is the king of attention to detail. Now, he also owns a really cool car, as you can see. It is an Audi S4 B8 model. Now, let's see what he's actually up to. What the heck? Were you, hey, were you expecting me? I'm a little late, I know. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? Buddy, it's going great. <laughs> you didn't tell me that this was gonna be here. What the heck? 911, this is the 992? 992. Wow. 
Man, your clients have the coolest cars, man. I guess I'm a client too, so I got a cool car, I guess, as well, but this is something else. This is the first one. Is this the first one? No, no, the, uh, this is the highest spec one so far. Highest spec one so far. So what do you mean by that? And then this is your car as well? This one's mine, yeah. What's, what's the color? It's like a, some sort of special blue? It's a uh, hyper blue. Hyper blue. I'm a Subaru guy. I feel like I should know that, but damn, this is beautiful. Wow. And then, <laughs> mamma mia, look at this. It's the GT4. If you guys know I love Porsche, one day I hope to get one. I know Steven, this one and maybe even like a 911 GT3 is in, your, is in your alleyway as well. If you're a car person, you know Porsche is the way to go. It's always the answer, right? Thank you. Now listen, I didn't come empty handed. I brought you some gifts. I need you to do some stuff for me. Yeah, look at that, wow. Now, and that's the thing, these are brand new, right? So why are we polishing and doing a paint correction on this? So a lot of people don't know, just because it's new doesn't mean that it's uh, it's imperfect. any imperfections. Yeah. A lot of times when they manufacture things, people or robots are going to be making a lot of contact and touching it, so it does actually and even, create imperfections. Yeah, and even these could cause imperfections too, like, Yep. I guess, right? Yep. So we want to make sure we bring out all the life out of it or we seal it in with the PPF and coating. I guess that's the game plan. Like Steven said, we're going to polish it, PPF to seal it all in, and then what else are we doing? Ceramic coating on top. That way it's easier for me to wash, keep it clean, and I guess always looking perfect, right? Yep. These are Beautiful. the black chrome BMW edition M3 uh, side markers. Awesome. Really nice, eh? So we'll probably do the same thing. We'll a lot of fingerprints on it. So I'll get Steven to, to, to take care, clean it all up, and then seal it all in with the PPF and then the ceramic coating for both of these. Beautiful. Yeah, these are really nice. I love these. And then you're a Subaru guy, as we know. Have you ever heard of a Subaru part on a BMW? Let's see. What do we got here? I don't know what's in there, man. <laughs> so Steven will be polishing it again. It's brand new, but there still might be some imperfections. We'll clear bra this to lock it all in and then ceramic coat it. Bellissima, right? Done. <laughs> this is just stunning. And Steven, is this wrapped? Hold on a sec. If you are a car person, you know that you can't be just putting fingerprints on people's cars. So. Whenever you feel the car, you gotta go back of the hand. Remember, no rings. Back of the hand, silky smooth. This is, this is very nice, this matte finish. But you actually can with this, because it does have the PPF on it. So yeah. you can't scratch it, no matter what you do. It's oh. a little dusty right now, but uh, yeah, you can't scratch it. Beautiful. So I've known Steven for approximately eight years. It's been about eight years, yeah. Steven first started working on my Subaru in the early 2013 days. Uh, we did paint protection pretty much as the years went on the entire car. Yeah, it started off with an OCD package, which was a lot more than, uh, than what people normally do. Nowadays, everybody's doing the full car. So over time, I've got to see him work on my car, but also work on a lot of these really cool cars. And the cars, they keep getting better and better. And why is that? Well, because this guy is probably one of the hardest working people that's out there in his profession. It's all about in this industry, good customer relations, networking, and of course the quality of work has to support the end product. And Steven always over delivers and under promises. He's a very modest person and always the owners leave here extremely satisfied. I'm just so happy to be a client of yours because having elevated auto on my car and knowing that you're behind all the work, it makes me so much happier because I know that I had the best person working on the job. So this is a kudos to you, man. Thank you, you, got, you guys see all these cars? This is where hard work can take you. You just gotta stay focused, keep always improving. It's always about learning new products. And like companies like Inozatech, you like it, right? I do, it's nice. So Steven's car outside is, is like a purple finish. Yeah. But, the, but the crazy thing about this company is it kind of looks like paint. Guys, that's the, that's the big draw to it right now is uh, it's got OEM-like finishes, OEM-like colors. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. So stay tuned. This is one of my second homes. You're gonna be seeing a lot of Steven. 
I'm gonna let him get back to work because I know he's very, very busy. Hey, thanks for having me come here and give you some more business. I mean, thank you, Alex. Always, always appreciate it, buddy. All right mask off all right what a day it's been so i want to give a very special thank you to all of you who are watching this supporting me taking the time to watch this it it means the world to me i just want to say this is going to be an exciting journey you got a really genuine person here very charismatic someone who really is is liked by a lot of people because i care about people and i want you to know if you ever have any questions for me want to interact with me it's always a safe place to put in post in the comments reach out to me privately on instagram whatever you guys want i'm gonna keep trying my best to deliver great great content and we got a lot of cool parts a lot of great people as you've just met three of my really close friends that always have my back so most importantly thank you very much for taking the time to watch us and stay tuned for more awesome content peace all right, I thought I was gonna finish the vlog, but actually I had to make a very special detour. I am at Maddie's Patties. This is supposedly the top burger place in the area. So let's give it a try. Wow, look at this burger. Holy cow. Epa, man, whoa, Jesus, take a leash. This Matish Patish burger. I don't know how I'm gonna eat. Here we go.